Hello all! In today's video, we are going to be opening up this Dragon Ball mystery figure and drawing whoever I get. And I had my sister help me open it while I was filming it. We got Whis's sister, Vados, and I haven't drawn a lot of the female Dragon Ball characters, so I thought it was fun to go ahead and draw Vados. <laughs> I like the little rivalry, rivalry that Whis and his sister, as well as Beerus and his brother, kind of have going on between the, the alternate universes. Later on in this video, I will also be drawing Whis because I felt like this page in my sketchbook could use both Vados and Whis, and I also got some new Artex alcohol-based markers that have the brush nibs because the ones that I have for our Artex are the skin color set and those just have the bullet and the chisel nib so I was excited to try out their brush nibs because I really do like my Ahuhu markers that have the brush nibs. The chisel nib is nice for larger areas but I do really like the brush nib because a lot of the time I'm doing smaller areas anyways and I feel like it's a little bit easier for me to blend out the colors as well. So for my process for alcohol markers, I go ahead and lay down the base color and then I find the next darkest shade and then put in the shadows and then I darken them from there. As you can see here, I also test them on a piece of paper prior to picking the colors just so that I know what colors I want to use. For Vados's green outfit, I didn't necessarily have that olive green that it is, so I kind of had to use what I had for greens and kind of blend them together. I still think it turned out pretty good, and I've never really done really puffy sleeves on any of the characters I've drawn recently, so it was kind of fun doing her puffy sleeves and then doing the, the folds in the fabric as well, and since I haven't really done any characters with not typical skin color, so this blue color, it was kind of fun doing the blue skin color, and it turned out pretty good for my first time using a not typical skin color as the base. Vados is pretty cute. I need to get more of the grays because I kind of use them a lot as I'll use the grays right underneath the or at the top of the eye to add a little bit of shadows there and since I do that in a lot of my pieces it I've used up a lot of the ink on most of my lighter grays, so I definitely need to either go to the store and just pick up a few more grays or get a new set that has gray in it. Right now I am using water-based markers for the background because I really like the galaxy kind of theme because there's like the space aspect of the universal tournament and I thought that would be pretty fitting for Vados to do, so I used the water-based markers, put each different colors, and then got a watercolor brush, and then used the brush with just water and kind of blended out each of the little swatches that I made with each of the colors, and then added the white paint pen with little dots, and I think that turned out pretty good. So for the Artex markers, there are 66 markers, and they're a pastel set, so this set does have a little bit of lighter colors, which is nice because I've also used up a lot of my lighter blues, as well as my other lighter colors, so it was nice to restock some of those colors. I do wish they had grays in here. Unfortunately, they do not, though you could technically use maybe the lighter blues instead of gray as the little shading area underneath the eye. I have seen people use like a really light purple as well. 
Right now we are shading the face of Weiss with the lighter blues. This one I kind of started with the shadows and then picked a little bit of a lighter blue for the other side of the face. I just wanted to compare what the blues would look like differently for Vados versus Weiss because they are a little bit of a different color blue. And like I mentioned, I kind of used a lot of my lighter blues, so those were like the lightest blues that I had that still had ink remaining in them. So I do really like the brush nib for the Artex markers. It's really nice and smooth. And I've been trying to make sure that I've applied an even coating of the alcohol markers by doing little circles so that there's not as streaky because I do have a tendency to make it streaky. I was hoping that I would have also received my set of Artex acrylic paint markers because I wanted to try both of those out. However, even though I ordered them at the same time, the acrylic markers haven't arrived just yet, which is disappointing, but I'm excited for when they eventually do arrive, and I will be making a video with me testing out those acrylic paint pens or acrylic markers, as I want to see how they compare with the Sharpie markers that I've bought, as well as the Posca markers. It's kind of nice because the Sharpie Creative markers do have ones that do have brush nibs on them, but the Sharpie markers that I bought, as well as the Posca markers, have the bullet nib. I think on Weiss, because of the pastel nature of the set that I bought with the 66 markers, I will only be using the Artex markers for the face, the little halo thing around Weiss, and then the yellow portion of his outfit because there weren't- there was a black marker, but there was only one shade of black, so there, that wasn't enough variety for me to shade his clothes, and then the purplish, reddish colors that were included was mostly just like pink for the reddish shades. And then the purples were more of on the bluer side, not more of the like maroon side. I did use the maroonish purpley pink color for the base, but since that wasn't really dark enough for the collar of Weiss's outfit. I did end up using my Ahuhu markers as well. Same with the eyes. I did use the light purple colors that I had in the Artex marker set, but for the darker shades towards the top of the eye, I did end up using my Ahuhu markers as well, so it's not strictly Artex markers on this drawing. For the hair, I do believe I did use some of the Artex markers as well as some of my lighter grays that I have. And then I did use the darkest black from the Artex set I, for the shadows of the black outfit, and then I did the same thing for Weiss's background. This one initially was looking pretty not good with the, the, the galaxy background because this paper is a little bit different than my sketchbook paper that I drew Vados on. There's a little bit more peeling of the paper because it's a little bit thinner. And the black, that really spread very well for the water base markers, so it kind of like was mixing in with the other colors. However, once I added the little dots like I did for Vados for the little stars, it ended up looking much better as the background. And then for the outline, I used the same pen that I did for Vados, which is the tool pen, but I have to be very careful with the, the tool pen because if it gets on my hand and then I accidentally place my hand somewhere it shouldn't be, it kind of can result in smearing, so just be aware to be careful with that. And here's the finished picture of Vados and Weiss. And I'll see you next time.